Punch Out's life was, you know, stripped away from his mother at about five years old and thrown into a gladiator academy. And it wasn't the typical gladiator academy. I mean, these guys were recruiting mutant children, like monster oh, wow. children. I mean, he grew up in probably the worst environment possible, like trained to kill for yeah. sport. You know, Punch Out's armed with the hammer of the gods, that steel gauntlet gives him the power to police gods. Like, gods created that gauntlet and gifted it to man so that they could step out of our affairs. You oh, know? wow. And they now have essentially someone to keep them in check so they weren't warring with each other. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm geeking out over right now. I didn't realize <laughs> this gauntlet was called the Hammer of yeah, the Gods. Yeah, the gauntlet is the Hammer of the Gods. Punch Out, I mean, the character, only has one comic to his name and one gotcha. mini comic. So obviously we haven't been able to get into all the feats that he can do. But essentially the Hammer of the Gods rises to the occasion, right? Yeah. It was forged by Hephaestus. They needed yeah. metal that no no earth man could provide. So they actually got fragments of Thor's hammer. You know, Thor supplied these right. fragments to Hephaestus. Hephaestus forged the gauntlet. The gauntlet was given to punch out, and it's actually passed on from warrior to warrior. The only way you can separate it once it fuses to you is through death. And at that point, like monks in a city we invented called Axis Mundi yeah. will take the weapon back, and until they find a champion that's worthy that can come and don it again, they hide it away in this temple. But this character, Centurion, actually helps yeah. guard the gauntlet in times where there's no champion to wear it, you know? But because he's yeah. mixed, he's not a straight mortal. You know, he's a centaur, he's got some mysticism built into him, or maybe he could don the gauntlet himself, but he can't wear it. Yeah. Only a mortal can wear it, and the gotcha. gods were really specific about that. Because, you know, they're at war, they want followers, so they're literally fighting with each other. Gotcha. Finally, they said, you know what, let's invent something that gives humans the power to decide on their own without our intervention. You yeah. know, we can step out of their world, and if we begin to fight, it'll also give them the power to help police us. So let's yeah. gift them with this thing, this weapon, the hammer of the gods. So, you know, I can't talk about his feats really because, I mean, he puts down a massive troll in uh, the graphic novel in an epic fucking fight. Um, yeah. You see him go up against basically a corrupt government because, like I said, these stories aren't just your typical Masters of the Universe, like, fun lesson at the end. I'm yeah, tackling not. things in these stories like corrupt politicians yeah. and, and how that translates into a fantasy story I think is interesting because we live in a time where our politicians are letting us down left and right. So yeah, it's interesting true. to see how Punch-Out deals with that situation in a way we never could. And when he, yeah. when he faces up against that government and, you know, they're essentially super weapon and a troll, like, it's, it's an interesting dynamic that you can play our modern day situation right back into, you know? So, 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 so essentially, it's like it's like you said before. It's like more adult theme, yeah, and, and, so and it deals with what we're dealing with in our our era right now. You know, it's a yeah. fantasy way to talk about those social issues. So, yeah. So I'm having a ton of fun with it. You know, it's it's been great. Yeah, I, I like the concept about the Hammer of Gods only being mortals because um, let's say someone was a mortal had it. Had it. It's like that whole father. Yeah, that power would be yeah. all out of whack. So yeah. they said, let's let's give the humans something that puts them on our level. And he'll have the dual job of sort of like keeping things in check on the planet, but also keeping us in check if we get out of line and start our wars amongst each other again. So yeah. it's an interesting concept because it allows you to do stories where sometimes he does have to go up against an Ares, who's yeah. like the god of war, and like, what do you mean we're not going to fight other gods anymore? Like, that was my whole reason for existence. Like, yeah, you love it. You so, you know, out. at yeah. some point, him and Punch Out are going to have to go to blows over that because he's a god of war. He can't just shut that off. Exactly. Like, what's he going to do? But Punch Out's like, well, but that, that's just not the way of things. You're going to have to find another way. And that's going to put them at odds. There's going to be conflict <laughs> there. So, you know, I can't wait to write those stories where it's like, you know, he's actively policing the gods sometimes. And then other times, you see him sort of traveling the land, like, you know, Kane and Kung Fu solving problems. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's really cool. And like, you make so many puns about that because you mean he has Thor's hammer as a as a fist. You can literally put the hammer down. <laughs> like he's laying the law down. Right. I love it so much.
So even the logo has like a little bit of Thor built into it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the outline is like yeah. Mjolnir, but the inside is the fist. Yeah. So yeah, we just thought I'm a big time Thor fan. Yeah. So it was fun to go. How can I build a little Thor mythology in this? And it's like, well, Thor's contribution to the super weapon was like, hey, I got these little fragments that fell off the hammer. Like, let's mix that in the metal. And you know, only Hephaestus is skilled enough as a forger to even exactly. manipulate that kind of mystical metal and, and build something else. You know. So anyway, it's just it's been it's been a real experience as a collector my whole life and a fan of comics and fantasy to now be in it and doing it is amazing. Yeah, uh, and you know, when you got a weapon like that that only yeah. comes off if you die, all the villains, you know, it's like. It's an evil magnet. He doesn't have to go looking for trouble. Yeah, they want it. They want him dead. They want the weapon. So <laughs> exactly. And that, I mean, that says something about it. Because if you're carrying on this weapon, we're literally every day you're getting shouted. Just kind of like uh, Afro Samurai. They're always after oh, the yeah, headband. Oh yeah, the headman. Yeah, They're yeah, always yeah. after the headman. So yeah, it's yeah. Like, so it's like he yeah. never gets any peace. It's like exactly. he's got to be moving around. He's got to be traveling. Hard for him yeah. to have any like solid relationships because it's like he knows what he has on him. You know, you can't just hang out yeah. in town. A day later, some evil force is going to roll in because they want it. It's like, he's got to be on the move, he's got to be... It's not a great life. It's sort of a blessing and a curse. Exactly, but that yeah. gives you a character that's neat to write about. Like, people are like, well, what's his, uh, what's his weakness? Like, a great hero has to have a weakness. I'm like, his weakness is the strength. Like, yeah. nobody would really want to have that gone. You know, yeah, like, yeah, it really seems silly. cool at first. And the way the comics are written, even he's kind of pumped about it at first. He's like, oh. But, you know, the reality of it hits him pretty soon. Like, you know, I, I, I want to try to use this for good. My yeah. whole life, all I did was kill people for sport. You know, like, yeah. this is an opportunity to redeem that and, and use my skills to do some good. And yeah. so at first, he's like, you know, yeah. like, like, I'm a hero now. Like, this is, this is something. But once the reality sets in that, like, this thing isn't leaving me until I'm dead and everybody wants it, yeah. like, I got to deal with that every day. And that's the character's weakness. It's not about some, like, tragic flaw necessarily. Yeah, it's not it's like the fact pretty, yeah. that, like, he accepted this thing without really thinking it through and now he's stuck with it, you know? Like, I might as well try to do some good for as long as I'm alive. Yeah. Because one day this will be gone and someone else will have it. Like, that's how it's going to play out. There have been 10 punch outs before me. I'm one in a line of guys. Like, that's the, the brutal reality is there were 10 before me. Like, I'm not going to have this forever, you know? Yeah. So that's what he's got to deal with. Like. <laughs>